Okay, guys, I want to tell you a secret today. Um, it's a fun one. Time is malleable. And this is something that, I know I've talked about time a little bit before, but this is a little different. So in this journey, I learned this from someone else. It's very cool. Cortisol is the, so the C and can in stress chemistry is responsible for that feeling of urgency we get where we feel like there is just not enough time for anything. Like no matter what, when you're rushing, when that, that kind of somatic rushing happens in your body's just like, you know, have to get everything done right now. There's not enough time to practice. There's not enough time to breathe. There's not enough time to get everything done in a day. There's not enough time for anything. That's cortisol. Fun fact. Um, and it really does create a very strong feeling that there just isn't enough time, period, and that there never will be. And it's very overwhelming for some of us. If we have this pop, it feels very real. And it can really convince us that time is this scarce resource that there's just never going to be enough of. And of course, there's a lot of that in the world at large that we live in, because there's a lot of cortisol in the world at large that we live in. So what I want to tell you is that if you think about this, you step outside of it, I had, it took me like a year, maybe a year and a half to like, dramatically changed my relationship to time because I, this was a really, I had, I had this pop really strong. Um, it was very powerful for me. And if you think about it, when you sleep, time kind of disappears. Also, I had a few experiences in recovery that reminded me of experiences I had earlier on in life where if you take a nap, like there were times where I would take, you know, in life where you, you take a 20 minute nap and it feels like it was two hours. There's times where you close your eyes when you're a kid and you wake up and it's morning there's times where you're, you know, you're playing a game and it's like time disappears. There's times when you're talking to someone, you're connecting, you're, or maybe you're working really hard and time either just like pauses or is like so amplified because you're just totally lost in that moment or because you're working so hard, you feel like I can't, it's almost like you, it doesn't matter. Um, you can't go on. Like the time slows down so much. It feels like it just expands. And it's like every second feels like an eternity. It's the opposite. So time is very largely connected or our experience of time, let's say, because it is a kind of ephemeral concept is very connected to the brain state and the brain patterns we're in and how quickly our brain is moving and how fully engaged it is in the moment, as well as the chemical state we're in, whether we're conscious or not. Because again, you can have very different experiences of time on a conscious level and then sleep also kind of points to the fact that our experience of time as human beings is a very fluid and malleable thing that you can influence with your choice to change your emotional state so when the limbic system is activated your brain is moving very very quickly which makes it feel like just like if you're driving fast that time is moving very fast time's going by very fast it's leaving it's gone it's you know it's gonna it's, it's just all kind of rushing by you and you can't grab onto it. That's your, that's your brain. That's not time. So by practicing affirming, and it, it can take a really big act of faith to shift your trust in, because a lot of times, again, the brain is believing that message that there isn't enough time. And then, but it, it, when we're rushing, we, we're not more efficient. So it's not saving us any time because we just get overwhelmed really is all that happens, which makes less, uh, helps us to be less efficient with our time instead of more. So really shifting your trust from that message of there's not enough time to a positive emotion. When you simply place all of your attention on saying, when, I, when I'm in a positive emotional state, there is always enough time for the things that matter to me. It's safe to let go and relax. And it's, it can be a repetitive thing we need to do, but understanding how that works in terms of when our brains are relaxed, they are way more efficient. They're working much more slowly and we can make a dramatically better use of time. Your brain, when it works slowly, can multitask so easily. Solutions, creative ideas, you name it, just fall into your brain out of thin air. 